Hello and welcome to this reaction of Reacher. Uh, we are on season two, episode two. I'm not going to go deep into this one, but it just seems like we're getting a little bit of story, a little bit of backstory about Reacher and his special unit. And also they are being attacked by someone. Uh, we saw two mysterious people last episode, the older guy and the AM guy. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it seems to be the driving force for whatever's going on with Reacher's team. So... Without further ado, let's just get to the show. So if someone's coming after the 110, how come they haven't made it run at the three of us yet? You were in the woods with your family. No one can ever find me, and maybe they just hadn't gotten around to Neil yet. I'm being followed. Mm -hmm. You want to play this? It'd be pretty obvious. Introduce myself. <laughs> All right, big fella. Oh. Look at this fucking butte. Hey. What do you think he's gonna do? Same guy though. Hope to see him in the f Just like the good old days. Uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I can't remember. You on the sidelines while I do all the work. Uh, fellas, this was his gun. NYPD? Name's Gaetano Russo. The PD's gonna be after your ass. Why'd you gotta hit him so hard, huh? I don't hit soft. <laughs> Well, cop punch is gonna do some serious time. I was pissed about the dog, and I assumed he was involved in killing Franzi and Swan. What did you teach us? In an investigation, assumptions kill. No, it was in an investigation, details matter. I didn't kill him, just broke his nose. We'll head down to Atlantic City, see if we can find the guys. But first, we gotta check out of our hotel and find a more generic ride before Russo regains consciousness and puts out a bolo. Range sure was too conspicuous. You're the reason we can't have nice things. Knocked his dick in the dirt. I'm telling you, this guy's a beast. When the time comes, I'm gonna need some backup. And you'll get it. Okay. For now, you just stay on their asses. And don't fuck this up. So, Russo Understood. isn't working with them. Okay. Hmm. Was your undercover job reacher yo how'd you know i was undercover considering the circumstances you would have come right away well football still got your fake idea <laughs> hey hey yeah good use it to rent the car what's with all the secrecy neely o'donnell and i have been flagged in the system and i punched out a cop <laughs> of course he did So, oh, the big smile. Franz. Make sure you get an SUV. I know. You need the headroom. <laughs> oh. There is more there. Good. Glad to see you're still here. I feel like I'm never going to leave. Right, but see, I don't think anybody's stealing and reselling anything. Take a look at these numbers. They always tell a story. See, I noticed that every time fuel went missing from the base, it was always after a specific flight. Whenever C-17s ferried Humvees back home to the States. I mean, it's a minor detail, but in an investigation, details matter. I like that. Those planes land, the amount of fuel in the tanks is exactly what's expected, and that gets logged into the books. So how does that happen? The excess fuel's being used to transport more weight than people realize is on the plane. Yeah. Something heavy and secret is being moved. Exactly. Like gold. Contraband in the Humvees, drugs, guns, stolen cash, all of the above. Can you buy me a drink? I gotta keep working on these reports. Maybe next time. Yeah. Ooh. But again, excellent work, Dixon. Yeah. No problem. Like I said, numbers always tell the story. And that two things stick out. None of these are 100%, meaning there's no 9 out of 9 or 10 out of 10. And the first four pages have 26 numbers, the fifth has 27, and the last two have 26 again. It could be an accident, just the way the information is based. No, it seems deliberate to me. None of these pages are full. What about the list of AM names? It means nothing to me. I agree. Skills and a screw loose. Far as a shooter, I can't picture him throwing someone out of a helicopter. Plus, I ran into him in Indiana last year. 
He owes me now. Oh, there's a story. Oh, oh no. Two years. We missed Time two goes. years. Oh, and they're being they tailed. Car under a fake name, but it's uh, it's Carla Dixon. She's with them now. They're headed towards Atlantic City. Probably gonna try to find their missing buddies. Good. All in the same place at once. When you get there, take them out. Copy that. You remember what I said about needing backup? Half price seafood, Janet Jackson. Mm. Yep. Just like Franz's office. And our hotel rooms. Not many. But she's framed, so she's important. We're going to the Lucky Lounge. You guys are good. You see things people don't. Dolls. These guys say they're friends of Sanchez. Want to talk to Molina? Take him back to the office. She's doing the books. That's a big dude too. Survives used underwear. Oh, where are you running off to? The girl from the photo. Oh shit. Good thing they split up. This is as far as we're going. You should have wait, 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 wait before you took a swing. It's a good thing O'Donnell and I didn't go in. I heard who came in here asking for her about a week ago. Said he was working with Sanchez and Roscoe and some big security job. Broad shouldered bald mm. guy? No. He had hair. Scarred on his cheek. He wanted to know if Sanchez had left any kind of digital storage device with me. I, I had no idea what he was talking about. I got a bad vibe off the guy. So as soon as he left, I called Jorge. Didn't come down to AC, but I heard him mention his name. He tried asking France about this. We can't. Why not? Someone threw him out of a helicopter. He does not hold back. Oh my God. You think Jorge and Manuel are dead too? 650 at 100K each. No idea what he meant by that. You're sure that's what he said? I'm positive. He said 650 at 100K. He kissed me on the cheek and he ran out that door. 650 to 100K, does it reach her now? remember the last words someone who left said to you. A lot of black chips. Most places. Not here. Atlantic City casinos rake in what? Most gaming revenue's got to be a couple billion a year. Easy. 65 million. We've taken carefully over time. Could go unnoticed for a while. Not that long. Not with casino accountants watching. Oh, casino, you're house. right. But could the bad guys hide it in the margins long enough to get away with it? 30. Now, please. So, you're the 110. What's left of us? Now Sanchez and Orozco talk about you guys all the time. Please. So you knew them well? Uh, yeah, Wasn't they he in Stargate? do background checks for all the casinos on the boardwalk. Hold on, uh, you just said knew them. Uh, well, I was picking up lunch at White House Subs last month. What, how can last I help? Last month. Does mean anything to you? Not offhand. What about the phrase 650 and 100K each? No. Uh, what's this all about? We think Sanchez and Orozco may have been looking into a $65 million gambling scam. Well, it looks like all we have available is a suite. I guess that'll have to do. Come on, I'll get you guys settled in. We'll be fine at a motel. Reacher? Off the books. When someone offers to comp you a suite, just say yes. Yeah, we'll have them send you up a park bench to sleep on. You'll feel right at home. Place has a spa. We're gonna take a spitz. Dips on the ocean view. That's all we have available is a suite. Here you go, free charge. Wow. Watching truth come grain by grain, just so 
freaking love it. Uh, and he taped it together. Yo, uh, just get a new one. I haven't been in a hotel that wasn't advertised as family friendly in years. I still can't believe David O'Donnell procreated. No, shit, no. No, she's engaged. What, she didn't know? Someone finally lassoed our little filly. No. Good for her. Um, didn't. Yeah, well, about that, you guys can uh, unsave the date. What? <clears throat> Seriously? Yeah, I mean, you know me. I've always been a numbers gal. Always jolt of something when you see him. Anyways, you know, like with Jack, I, I was gonna get out of it with no mess and no guilt, but instead, I got out of it a with a lot of mess and a whole lot of guilt. Thank you. Good for you. Carla Dixon doesn't settle. I really want to get my dad on round the clock nursing care and rent him a nice place closer to me, but that takes capital. Why rent? Buy and build equity. Get a condo. Co-ops are fucking banana republics. Yeah. What Retired at least in E8. She's making decent You're retirement money. Over there. Home ownership is like keeping snakes as pets or ballroom dancing competitions. Steal pie off windowsills. <laughs> I'm being serious. Diners? Sometimes people who pick me up share a meal with me. Sometimes I share with them. And where do you sleep? Cheap motels, mostly. And what if you can't find one? Unattended boats and marinas are good for a night. Flatbeds of parked trucks. Looks like someone took the sign as a personal challenge. Green, I'm just warming up. <laughs> Everybody like that. Foam tank. You can eat. Thank you. Just relax me. I figured if I was going to do math, I might well, as well make you spin in those chips. Ma'am, you're showing 10 and 8 on two of your hands. That's right. And I could double down and risk it all for potentially larger payout. Or I could stand and have a guaranteed win because the next card out of that shoe is going to bust you. My grandmother said pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. The second half. I'm having fun. And we know you're counting cards. Which isn't illegal if you do it in your head. But seeing that your chief of security was kind enough to comp us a suite, I'll cut you some slack. <laughs> use those muscles and help me carry these to the cashier window. You can give these tickets to the guy in the members only jacket. Well, I'm surprised you can walk at all with all the casino's money in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and I assume the forensic accountant's going to declare that cash on our taxes. Those crooks? There's anybody I could audit. Actually, it's kind of my dream job. Current gig doesn't give you your auditing fix. Being an auditor? Costing millionaires from stealing from billionaires. What I really... Also pretty sure when we walk by it, the man with the gun will step out. Then when we turn to run, the guys behind us won't be so far behind anymore. So what's the plan? I'm not going to walk by that car. I might go over the fence. Go. Mm-hmm. Tell me he throws it over and... Okay. He cut him up with something you sp spread on a. You <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a, a bricklayer. Whatever that is. It's a members only jacket guy from the casino. Shit. If they went after us, they might go after Neely and O'Donnell too. That is a hell of a way to kill someone. Wait until we're off the boardwalk to make their moves. They're not going to go into a busy hotel with cameras everywhere. No ID. This has been, been scratched off. Nothing to ID any of them. These guys are pros. Should have left one of them alive. Yeah, but they didn't give us much of a choice, did they? Maybe not. Now we have nothing to go on. 
Not necessarily. Parking you couldn't get prints? No! I'm thirsty. Want to get a beer? Oh, she's gonna like this too much. What you doing? What my mom used to do in the alcohol stuff. Mm. You know, you're probably just blowing germs into it. Living your life the way you do would. You don't have to be lonely tonight. Not wrong. To get a move on. This is AM and the rich guy, right? All 650 will be in the truck. You can track the shipment with a GPS locator I paired to this. There are at least two good ambush points. I would never harm anyone. Okay. There are two different stories going on here, I think. There are two different lines. Who is it? Right. Clear. Come on in. You, uh, you folks seem a little jumpy. I mean, I don't blame you given the circumstances. And I hate to be the bearer of more bad news, but when it's pretty easy to ID him with that. The friends. When he joined the army, his sister was terrified he'd be killed with some disfiguring wounds. Uh, one other thing, um, no one using any of the names you gave me have checked into any of the hotels in town. And I talked to my counterparts at the other casinos. Orozco and Sanchez, they weren't working on anything for any of them. And when I told them about the $65 million gambling scam, they pulled their overnight on it. I Bodies were found in New York, car that followed us is from New York. New York ghost tags, New York parking pass. This has always been a New York case. Down there. Where the hell are you going? We're gonna need more guns. Oh my goodness. Okay, so well, I got confirmation on their two buddies, sadly. Kind of hoping more, more of their little crew would make it out alive, but it seems like it's gonna be these four. Um, a little confused. They, they, they. I'm not confused, but. Reacher punched a cop in the beginning, and it was kind of left there. But maybe that guy was working with the other two, um, Franz and those guys. So I'm guessing we'll get more information as the show goes on with the NYPD's involvement. And um, Reacher and Dixon hooked up. <laughs> they did. Okay. Uh, so that happened. That was fun. Like I told you you were too loud. That was that was the best. Um, dude, I, dude, this is such a good show. I'm so intrigued. We have yet, yet to find out how the guy that's going after Reacher and his people are involved. Who he is? We don't even know who he is. No name. Two episodes. Nothing. Is this someone from the past? Is this someone that just it's taken him out because he accidentally killed one of their buddy. No idea. Is one of the team? Don't oh, know. Such good writing. Um, good pace show. I, I I love how they have like little skits of action and then like story building, a little bit of action story building. You know, um, this head of security guy that's working for that casino that they're staying in. Good dude, but 
Maybe he's involved. Who knows? Maybe it isn't a, mon uh, a money scheme for casinos. Don't know. Guess we'll have to see. I'm intrigued. Having fun. Gonna end it here. Such a good show. Can't wait to get to it next week. Like, share, subscribe. Find me on Discord, Patreon, membership tabs. Till next time. Take care.